Teresa of Jesus was a Carmelite of the Carmel of Los Andes in Chile. She lived between 1900 and 1920 and was canonized in 1993. She wrote to her sister Rebecca on the vocation of a Carmelite. How beautiful our vocation is, my dear sister. We are together with our Saviour, Redeemer of souls. We are hosts in which Jesus dwells, living, praying and suffering for a sinful world. Was not this the life of the Most Holy Virgin, the most perfect of all created beings? She carried the word in silence. She prayed and suffered always. Wasn't this life of prayer and sacrifice the one that Jesus lived for 30 years? He spent but three years in preaching. Isn't this the life of Jesus in the tabernacle? Oh, sister dear, it is undoubtable that we have chosen the better part, since a Carmelite deals with God alone. Ask him to bring you very soon. Come then and lose yourself in the divine arms. Come quickly that Jesus may find another host to offer to his eternal Father four souls. May nothing make you waver. Look at him. He's waiting for you and is filled with infinite love and will make you his bride. He wants to forge with you the most intimate union. He will make you divine by joining himself to you. You will live in Jesus amid infinite sweetness, purity, holiness, goodness, amid the love of one who is God. Teresa's sister Rebecca responded wholeheartedly to this letter. She entered the Carmel of Los Andes in November 1920 and died in 1942 with the odour of sanctity around her. 